Hello, so welcome guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Android. So we are comparing Android 9 which is Android P and Android 8 which is Android Oreo. So I'm using Pixel 2 XL for both of the operating system which is a stock phone from Google as you know. So we will be comparing the speed, the battery, the loading time and turning on time. We will also compare how these Android system load different application and there is also many new different updates and new features in Android P which we will compare as the usability and performance and I have already seen so many youtubers complaining about the lagging of the Pixel 2 XL on Android 9 or Android 8 we will also compare the battery which most of the people think is getting worse on Pixel 2 XL as the time proceeds so let's go to the phone and see which phone which operating system outperforms the other so we are with our Pixel 2 XLs. These are both Pixel 2 XL and one is kind of covered with a phantom skin which is kind of permanent skin and the other one is with all the skin. So let's go to the settings. This one is on Android 9. Let's switch the positions. Left is Android 8. Right is Android 9. So let's go to the system on the both phones and you can see it's Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 2 XL software Android 8.1 updated to and if I go to about here you will see it's Android version 9. So this one is on Android 9 and this one is on Android 8. And let's do the speed test and before that let's close anything which is loaded. The both of the phones have almost same set of application installed and kind of work alike and you can see the battery on Android 9 it's 82 on Android 8 it's 78 both of the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi and let's do the test so let's open the Chrome uh, it was kind of faster on Android 8 and oops let's open the messages app Faster on Android 9. Open dial pad 1, 2, 3. Oops, my mistake. Let me close that. Okay, and dial pad 1, 2, 3. Faster on Android 8. Let's open YouTube 1, 2, 3. A lot faster on Android 8 you can see it's almost the same let's open calculator one two three faster on Android 9 kind of faster on Android 9 not a lot let's open whatsapp one two three faster on Android 9 and let's do open the speed test application and also do a speed test one two three kind of same so let's do a speed test on Android 8 you can see the uh, Android 8 loaded the server faster than the Android 9 so let's do the speed test over here so it's giving about the connection is of 500 megabits at the moment and Android 8 is giving about 3, 366, 367 down and 491 up. That's almost equal to that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this again on Android 9 and let's see what result this thing yields. So it's giving kind of low on download. That might be due to the server, but right now it's giving low on download. And let's see about uploads. And again kind of slow so skip that let's open Instagram one two three Ooh, a lot faster on Android 8 and uh, uh, let's open Facebook on both of the phone one two three faster on Android 9 it's completed Android 8 it's still loading Let's minimize this. Let's open the camera. One, two, three. I think it was faster on Android 8. Let's switch to the front camera. 
one two three again faster on android 8 so i've downloaded a couple of games on both of the devices and let's do the game test and as well as at the end of the video i will do the geek bench test to see how much power drain happens on both of the devices and how will the boot operating system perform so let's start with smash it and let's open the smash it on both of the phone and i will use the same hand to avoid any delay due to my human error one two three so both of them started at almost same time and loaded about same time the uh, Android 8 was kind of a faster you can say like few bits few seconds so just give it to that and let's open temple run so this is quite a legacy game quite old now but still quite good for the test one two three so it, it went little faster it started better on Android 9 but it got a little slow on both of the device oh my god cancel see which one leads and this is temple run 2 I thought it's temple run 1 such a bad idea and it went little faster on Android 9 at the end or oh, while on the start it was better on Android 8 so let's minimize this and let's open the subway sofa so where is subway sofa on this phone Okay, let's bring it out and let's start subway software. One, two, three. Again, it started better on Android 9, but it's little and it's still leading. And let's see which one leads. And I think, it's, oh, look, it started better on Android 9, but it ended better on Android 8. So that means Android 8 is far better. In these games so which one is left let's open asphalt 8 which is among the heavy games and uh, one two three again it started better on Android 9 I don't know why and it's because of the op optimization they are doing and it's loaded faster on Android 9 as well and uh, I think it's still loading the display of the both phone is quite similar and the blurry lines that were appearing first I just put the brightness at the max and they went uh, I don't know why it was happening but I don't know okay what are you trying to do okay I don't know okay Android 9 wins this time okay I don't have time for this okay boy get a rest so let's try this on a uh, Tomb Raider Relic Run. I don't know which game this is. One, two, three. It was a little faster at the start on Android 8, but seems similar on both of the devices. And uh, let's see which one leads. I think Android 8, but it might be Android 9. Kind of missed that. It's almost equal at the moment. Look at the thingy okay skip it if we can it's almost identical it's like 100% identical look at this but I think it's faster on Android 8 oh yes it is faster on Android 8 okay minimize you nobody cares now we are left with candy crush let's do this one two three Almost identical on both of the devices, but Android 9 uh, kind of seems to win it. And again, Star Wars better on Android 9, but uh, again, and was better on Android 8. So this was all the games and the application. Let's do little bit of the graphics user interface of the both phones, and let's see which wins that. So let's open the basic settings on both of the devices. Let's open the settings. What? Let's do this with two hands. One, two, three. Settings was kind of faster on Android 9. If we go back, if we go down, oh my god, if we go down and click system, Android 9, and if we click minimize, one, two, three. 
I think animation on Android 9 was faster. If we go down, down, it seems almost similar. And now let's see which phone do better in Geekbench. And after that, we will also download an application from App Store and we'll see which phones download apps better. And we will also try to reload applications. So let's reload applications before we try Geekbench because that software is kind of a heavy. You can see the GUI, the, the new button system on the Android 9. And it's kind of fun using this. And let's go back and see if we get any applications. So, oh, God. Okay. The messages was closed, by the way. So let's see on Android 9. It was closed on Android 9 as well. If we minimize this and go back to the Chrome. The multitask or multi manager, multitask manager is faster on Android 9, by the way. Let's open this. Let's see. And it was already loaded on Android 8, but not on Android 9. So, one advantage to Android 8. Let's go back. I don't know why it's so slow on Android 8. And go to the YouTube. See which ones. Both of them are loading YouTube. Bad. Let's go to calculator. Both of them loaded calculator. Let's go to kind of new applications. Let's go to the candy cam which we loaded last. See if, or we can go from the games. Let's go to the temple run two. One, two, three. Both are loading temple run two. Disappointing. And Android 8 is lucky. Relic. Well, this was loaded on Android 9, but not on Android 8. So that's a big thumbs up to Android 9. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's go to Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Well, this was loaded on both of the phone. Come on. So let's go to the end. Look at this phone. And clear them. Because I want to try the Geekbench. And enough of the multitasking. Android 9 is better than that. So let's go to the Geekbench and see which phones outperforms the other. One, two, three. So this test might take a few seconds. Both of the devices are running almost identical. Oh my gosh. And both of them are almost identical at the moment. But I think Android 9 is, Android 8 is leading a bit. Oh my gosh, things get dark. So we are done with the test and you can see Android 8 is a little bit ahead in multitasking and in single core. About 15 points faster in single core and about 107 points faster in multi core. And that's almost identical and that's, that's not a such big difference and after this let's do do see the temperatures of the board devices and at which temperatures the board devices are at you can see you can see the temperature of the battery is almost identical 39.6 degree the room temperature at the moment is about you can say 25 so they go pretty hot and they are cooling down but not as quick the device is hot to feel and the Pixel 2 with the Phantom skin feels less hot than the other one because of the skin. Battery voltage are different on both devices. Let's minimize. And you can see the battery performance was so identical on both devices. It went down equally and the distance remained same. And that was the test of the Android 9 and Android 8 on Pixel 2 XL. 
I hope you have figured out which operating system was faster than which and which Android system feels better and the new button system on Android 9, how does that feel? So that's all for this video guys. I hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any question, query, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. And until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.